What if I could tell you that you could run Instagram or Twitter or your favorite video game available for Android on your Mac or your PC without using hardly any resources and without using a full-fledged emulator, which we all know are not a very good experience. Well, you can. This is the way to use Instagram on your Mac or any application that you want available for Android on your Mac absolutely free. There's no resources hardly at all that are used because it's only running this one specific application, not the entire version of Android. It brings full functionality to many apps that, well, their desktop counterparts quite frankly suck. Instagram is a great example. I'm going to show you how to do it. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you now how to use this awesome emulator on your Mac or PC. Keep in mind this will work with OS X or Windows. Unfortunately, because of the fact that it runs on top of Google Chrome, Linux users, you're a bit out of luck. There's no Chromium support. But as long as you have Google Chrome installed and version 41 or higher, you are ready to make this magic happen. The first thing you need to do is download an application that's actually specifically built for developers. So it's not even available through the Chrome Web Store search. All of the links mentioned in this video will be available in the video description below. The first one is Arc Welder. Now the Arc Welder, like I mentioned, is an app runtime for Chrome that's built for developers. It's built for developers to test their applications on a very low level, but we can use it to our own advantage. All you have to do is install the application on your computer. It's pretty light, only about 12 to 13 megabytes, and it will add what's called the Chrome App Launcher to your dock. Now you may already have this there, and this is not actually necessary. You can drag it off your dock if you don't want it, but for the sake of convenience in this video, we'll keep it there. You can see that now in this launcher, Arc Welder is available. Now because this runs on Chrome, Chrome does need to be open and running for these Android applications to run, but they are very, very efficient and use almost no processing power, which I'll show you here in a minute. Now next, now we have the welder downloaded. We have essentially what will be running our applications, but we need the application file. Now Android has something that's called an APK. APK is the Android package file that is available to install on any Android device. You may have downloaded, for example, the Amazon App Store through an APK file. APK files are essentially just the compressed version of Android applications. Now, if you're looking to install a paid application on your computer, um, you will, and assuming you're getting this legally, you'll need to buy the device or buy the application on your phone or your Android tablet. You'll need to uh, open the application on your phone at least once, and then you'll need to download what's called APK Extractor. This extractor essentially takes any application on your phone and repackages it into a tidy compressed APK file. Think of it as a zip file. It recompresses the application into a smaller parcel singular file that the computer or the phone can then manage. So if you're using paid applications, this is the way to do it legally. Now, let's say that you want to install a free application. Now, now, this is a lot easier because free applications uh, are, we can download the APKs directly from Google servers. So let's say that I want to download the Instagram app. It's a free app, it's available in the Google Play Store, and all I have to do is find it in the Google Play Store, copy uh, this link right here, which is the link to this actual page, to the Instagram app, and then I open this website that's called APK Downloader. Now, I've already used this once, so it's already there, but you can paste the package name or the Google Play URL. We pasted the URL, so we copy the URL, we paste it here, and then we generate the download link. Now, this all this does is it pulls up the link to a direct download from Google servers. So these guys are not administering the packages. It's not illegal at all. It's, in fact, perfectly legal and it just mitigates the need to download it to your phone, repackage it, and then send it to your computer. Now, because it's a free application, you can do this, and all you have to do once you've found the app you want to download is say, click here to download this application, Instagram Now. It will download immediately directly from Google servers and thus is very fast. This website has no ads, it's freaking fantastic. You definitely need to use it if you're downloading free apps. Now, once we've downloaded all of the necessary components, we have the Google Chrome web browser installed, we have the Arc Welder, and we have, of course, our Android package file. We are ready to go. So what we need to do is open our file browser and find the application that we have downloaded. This is the Android uh, Instagram APK. So I'm going to copy this 
and move this to a more permanent place on my computer. Note that this package cannot be deleted or else nothing's going to work. The whole system breaks. So you need to keep it in a very safe place where it won't be deleted. Now, just for video's example's sake, I'm gonna put it in my home folder, which is, by the way, not a very good location for this, but I'm going to do it anyway. And then once your application is there and ready to go, we are going to open the Arc Welder. So open Arc Welder, which is available through the Chrome App Launcher, or it's even available in your Applications folder on um, Mac OS, or if you're using uh, Windows, it's available in your Programs folder. Now, once you've opened Arc Welder, it may prompt you, or it may ask you where the Arc Welder is to put its database. Now, again, you can choose a location that won't get deleted, perhaps in your Home folder, perhaps in your Documents folder, you decide. And then once you've done that, it asks you to add your APK. So all we have to do is click that button and then choose our little Instagram file that we've downloaded, this little 8.6 megabyte file. We click open and then we'll actually see that there are a few options. This is where you need to become familiar with the application that you're installing. Now you can choose the orientation later, but this is the orientation in which the application launches. We know that Instagram can only be used in portrait mode, so we're going to select portrait. If you're loading a game or an application that plays videos, you're obviously going to leave it in landscape. Now the form factor is where things get interesting. You can choose between tablet, phone, or maximized. Now these are not resizable uh, areas. So if you're on a smaller laptop, like a MacBook Air, or even a smaller MacBook Pro, you're going to want to use the phone version. Now if you're on a full desktop, you have a 30 inch display or what have you, you can use the tablet version. But like I said, they're not resizable, they're just static. So more than often than not, the phone option is the way to go, especially because Instagram, as anyone who owns a tablet knows, that there is no tablet version for Instagram. It's just a really gross shrinked version. So we're just going to use the phone version for this Instagram app install. Now clipboard access is amazing. This allows you to use share clipboard between your computer and this running application. Obviously we're going to leave it enabled for Instagram. I can't really think of an instance where you wouldn't want it enabled, uh, perhaps when you're playing a game, but in this instance we'll leave it enabled and then that's all you need. Um, all you have to do is click launch app and you can see actually in this folder where we built the architecture for Arc Welder, it unpackaged the APK file and built its own little application folder. Now, as you can see, we're running the uh, Instagram application for uh, Android on our computer. We can log in, we can use our keyboard like we would and the mouse or your trackpad, however you wanna do it. And then once you've typed in your credentials, everything will load and you're ready to go. Everything works exactly as you know it. You can pull up your favorites, see who's looked at your photos. You can pull up your own profile. By the way, you should follow me if you're not already. SnazzyQ on Instagram. You can search. It's exactly the same application. And in fact, it even takes advantage of the webcam. I don't have my webcam installed right now, but if you did, you could click the picture icon, the webcam comes up, and you could take an Instagram photo from your own computer. Why is this so great, you say? Well, this is the full unleaded application available for Android, which is far more powerful than the crappy Instagram website that we're given access to or the really limited APIs that are available on third-party apps. So this is great. It's the real Instagram application right on your computer. I love it and it runs forever. Now, let's look at the activity monitor to see how many resources it's actually using. Now, this is a part of Google Chrome. Even though it says Instagram and even though it has its own little icon here on the dock, which by the way, you can keep there, um, it is running Google Chrome. So the minute I close Chrome, this application will also close. Now, uh, Chrome has, I think Chrome 43, the latest, second to latest version, added the functionality to run in background mode. So you can click quit Google Chrome and this app will continue to run because Google Chrome is in background mode. Now, if I say quit all Chrome apps, then Instagram is just gonna die off. And you can see here in the activity monitor that Chrome is still running. But it's taking very low resources, 1.4% of my CPU, and it just depends on what you're doing interacting with it. Um, after a couple seconds, the app will go into hibernate mode, which takes the CPU usage down to effective zero. So if I am using it, it takes no more than one to one and a half percent of my CPU, uh, which is really fantastic. Um, it's no more than any other native application, and usually it's, it's a lot less. Um, so there you go. That is how to view the activity monitor and see how much resources the Instagram app or really any application you choose to install is taking. But once you've done that, you're ready to go. You're running Instagram on your computer. You can close Instagram, you quit it, you're ready to go. And then when I want to relaunch it, all I have to do is open Google Chrome and then click the Instagram app and then Instagram opens and I'm back and ready to go. I can throw this anywhere I want. I can even minimize it. 
and uh, hide it inside my dock, just like any other application. I can hide it. It's really fantastic. Like I mentioned, you can't resize it. Everything is static, so that's a bit of a bummer. Uh, but you know, it's pretty great to be able to run most of the functionality of an Android app on your computer without n needing to run the full entire Android operating system. Very low resources, still very, very powerful, and it's directly supported by Google, so you know it's going to be stable and good. And this is honestly far more stable than any other emulator I've tested. So check it out. This is Arc Welder available for Mac and Windows. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment if this video helped you out. Leave a like any like down below if it was something you discovered today. If you already knew about this and you thought my presentation still sucked, then you can leave a thumbs down and I'll be very sad, but that's fine. I will work to improve. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, and as always, what a lovely picture. Stay snazzy. See you later, folks.